The light combat aircraft Tejas MK1A took its uh, maiden flight from the Hindustan Aeronautic Limited Nashik facility today in presence of Raksha Mantri Rajnath Singh. These warplanes are replacing the aging MiG-21 fighter jets which were retired by the Indian Air Force last month. The Indian Air Force is expected to receive its first LCA Tejas MK1A aircraft by the end of October. This is a significant milestone in Bharat's indigenous fighter jet program. Now, the Tejas MK-1A variant is an advanced multi-role fighter jet. The indigenous 4.5 generation all-weather combat aircraft is developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and these fighter jets are designed for deployment in high-threat aerial environments. The Tejas MK-1A boasts several upgrades over the Tejas MK-1 version, including Israel ELM-2025 AESA radars, advanced electronic warfare suit, with a jammer and beyond visual range capabilities. The LCA Tejas MK-1A, the advanced version of the MK-1 aircraft, took its first successful test flight on the 28th of March last year. And as per the Defence Ministry, the aircraft will contain indigenous content of over 64% with 67% additional items included. The integration of advanced indigenously developed systems such as Uttam, active electronically scanned array radar, Swayam Raksha Kavaj and controlled surface actuators will further strengthen the Atmanirbhar Bharat initiatives capable of tracking multiple targets. The Uttam radar has a range of more than 200 kilometers, which gives the aircraft a 360 degree scanned view of its surroundings. The delivery of these aircraft is likely to begin by 2027-28 and conclude over a period of six years. Now here's what makes the Tejas MK1A significant. It's lightweight, has a single engine and is a multi-role fighter jet. It has advanced active electronically scanned array radars installed that enables tracking of multiple targets simultaneously. The aircraft also features upgraded digital fly-by-wire system and has, an, and has a unified electronic warfare suite added. Now, it also includes advanced self-protection jammers and nine hard points for versatile weaponry. It can carry the Brahmos too. Now, it's capable of uh, way beyond visual range air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles and is equipped with advanced short-range air-to-air missiles. Let's also understand this entire timeline of the Tejas MK-1A. 1983, the light combat aircraft project or the LCA project was launched to replace MiG-21s. 1995, first technology demonstrator was rolled out. 2001, TD-1's uh, first successful flight was registered. 2007, PV-3 achieved supersonic flight. 2013, first stage of squadron was planned for the IAF. 2015, first series production of the aircraft was delivered. 2016, Number 45 Squadron was inducted with Tejas Jets. 2019 Naval Variant lands on the INS Vikramaditya. 2021 48,000 crore deal was signed for 83 Tejas MK1A jets that was approved. 2025 Tejas MK1A takes its maiden sortie. Now let's hope this does the nation proud. Thank you for watching.